Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy. And today we're gonna show you how to swap and upgrade the 12 volt battery in your Cadillac Lyric EV. So this is Cadillac's first electric vehicle, the Lyric. It's based on the Ultium platform, so it's got a 10 module Ultium battery pack, giving you a little over 100 kilowatt hours, which is good for 300 plus miles range. So in terms of pricing, I'm also impressed with the cost on these cars. The trend in the EV world has been to produce cars that in my mind are more luxury priced, but then you get into the car and it's got a great drivetrain, it's got a very you know refined feel because it's an EV and EVs are just plain better. They're quieter, they're faster or quicker, I should say. Um, and the technology is just very, very cool and fun to experience. The $60,000, $70,000 EV of the last few years uh, has not really been a luxury car. And people would always look at them and say, well, that's not very luxurious for, for that kind of money. This, is, this changes that finally. Like we kind of have a real, a true luxury car feels like a luxury car, drives like a luxury car, and is also an EV. So I think they really did an awesome job on these and I really like them for that. Today though, we are swapping out the 12 volt battery. So let's get started on that process. All right, so here are the tools that you'll need for the swap. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, so don't be intimidated. So these are safety glasses that you'll use to make sure that you don't get any acid in your eyes. Some kind of gloves, make sure that they have rubber to them, not just cloth gloves, which could have the acid eat right through them and get to your skin. Uh, and then we've got our tools. I like to use a cordless driver. And along with that, I use the attachment for a uh, 3 8 inch socket. And you'll need a 10 millimeter socket as well as a 13 millimeter socket and an extension for the 13 millimeter socket. Then the only other thing you need is a T30 driver tip. All right, here we go. Trim comes off all very easily. You just gotta get your fingers underneath the edges and then work your way around the edges until the whole thing is loose. There are little holes on the base where it's gonna click into, and then these are the connectors that actually push into those, into those holes. Sometimes they might get left behind and then you would probably pry it off and then put it back onto the top panel before you reinstall it. So then we'll take off the driver's side panel. Same thing, work your way around, along the edges until you've got all of those little pops unpopped and then the panel should be loose and you remove that off to the side. Then you can take off this front panel. Then on this driver's side panel, you can either fully remove it or just remove the inner edge of it. You just need to get access to these two screws that are T30s. So now we'll grab our screwdriver and remove those. So to remove these, just hold the flap out of your way and up they go. And there's one up here as well. Now we've got these last two screws. Now I'll remove the four nuts that are all 10 millimeter on the top. So now on the terminals, we're gonna remove the negative terminal first, the 10 millimeter, loosen it. There's a little um, connector here. And once you've got the negative terminal off, then you can uh, unlock this little connector by sliding the red tab out, then pinch and pull. Then we're gonna slide the negative connector up and out of our way. Once the negative terminal is off, then remove the cover on the positive terminal and loosen that terminal with a 10 millimeter. Then to remove this entire plastic piece, there's a there's a, a claw on the front and on the side over here. The both of those need to come up, then that whole thing can slide up. Then the final thing holding the battery down is this little foot bracket down here. So just bring your 13 millimeter with an extension, loosen that off. All right, now that that is all loose, Slide the battery slightly towards you and then you're gonna lift it up. Try to use two hands because it is heavy. Here is our OEM lead battery and that is almost 39 pounds. Now we'll compare that with this OMU lithium iron phosphate battery and it is 13 pounds 10 ounces. 
So you have just about one third of the weight. All right, now let's put in this lightweight OMU lithium battery. So you have the terminals oriented in the same way. Slide it all the way in. And the first bracket we're gonna put down is the, uh, the tie down for the, the feet over here. All right, so now we're gonna put the positive terminal plate back on. First thing, then remove the cover. This will go straight down and you'll kind of get the front end till it clicks and the side and you'll kind of hear that click and then that whole bracket is holding itself down in place. Then we can snug this 10 millimeter down. Once that's in place, go ahead and cover it because the last thing you want is exposed terminals for any period of time in your vehicle. So as soon as you get the opportunity to put that back under a protective cover, go ahead and do so. Then we're gonna connect the negative terminal. So we'll bring this back over, connect this first. And when you connect it, slide the red tab to lock it once more. So we slide that down and secure it. So now let's bring our, bat, our uh, brackets back in for the top. These, this one will actually hold the battery down. And it gets a nut here and here. It's kind of interesting in this vehicle is that it has two methods of holding the battery down. Usually if you have a foot bracket holding the battery, you don't need the top. And if you have a top, you don't need the bottom. But in this case, they, they did both. Then this one is actually just going to cover the, the negative terminal over there, I suppose, as a safety measure. Now we'll tighten all of these down. All right, now we'll bring this brig H bracket or whatever it should be called in. Put these all in by hand first so you don't accidentally drop one because although it wouldn't be the end of the world, look at the all the crevices and hiding places for anything to fall into small like this. It would be a big pain in the butt to find it. So get them all started by hand and then come back through and knock them all tight with your T30. Here goes the front trim. When you put them in place, just line them up and then press down and you'll hear and feel all those nice gratifying plastic clips. Same thing on the side trim. Line it up and press it down. If there's one up here, you'll kind of have to manually align and then press down. And you might have to do the same up there. Then we'll put the last piece in there. Before we secure the last piece, let's just make sure our left side clips are all secured and we'll bring this piece in now the mysterious closing of the hood you don't just shove them shove them down with these and you can't lightly do it you kind of have a little balance between how fast you're going and not having your hands on it at the very end so that you dent the hood so you give it a good start and then about when it gets almost closed then let your hands off of it but give it a good acceleration and you'll feel this nice firm thunk all right so this lyric has now been upgraded with the 12 volt lithium battery from omeo and one of the other features about these batteries the lithium line from omeo is that we have a bluetooth bms built in and that allows you to not only monitor it through our app which is omeo energy but also do things like turning the 12 volt battery totally off and totally on through the app without ever having to touch the battery itself. So if you wanted to put your car to sleep for, for months because you're going out of town, you wanna to just disconnect the 12 volt battery for a six month period or something like that, you can actually do that through the app without having to physically disconnect the battery. The other thing about that is that I've seen personally on a lot of forums, especially in 
the GM Ultium platform is that there's sometimes some some issues that come up with these cars where they'll they'll throw like some kind of a weird charging alert or, or a different kind of error and the sort of uh, folk remedy that seems to work for everybody is just disconnect the 12 volt battery for a couple minutes and then reconnect it the uh, that message will go away the issue goes away and you know they could they, years later they still not have that come back and so so it seems that there might be some ghosts in the software that, that it just helps to give it a good deep reset. And so having that feature would make those uh, very painless where you could just sit in the driver's seat, turn the 12 volt off, wait a couple minutes, turn it back on, and then clear those errors. Uh, it could really save some butts at the charging stations if someone's on a road trip and they're just, they just got an alert that's, that's preventing them from charging. All right, thanks for watching. And you can now find the Lyric battery on omu.com for sale. You can always reach out to us for support at support at omu.com through email, or our website has a support page, support.omu.com. And as always, enjoy your cars.